Hey there, uh, Yakuza brethren. <laughs> that could be my, uh, you know, instead of having like my, my, my bros or like, you know, the, the C Nation or the WWE, like whatever I'm going to call my collective fans so I can try to, you know, create a branding identity and make you feel included and therefore want to buy my merch or whatever. The, you know, I don't have merch. Yeah, you'll be my Yakuza brothers. But anyway, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Yakuza Kiwami on the Mysterious JG. Um, last time we got slapped by a woman and it depleted all of our health. So I guess uh, Kiryu isn't into that kind of thing. But no, I... Uh, as I sit down with this, I'm like, oh man, I could just spend the rest of the afternoon just playing this game. Uh, and I'm, as I sit down, I'm like, I gotta do two episodes of this. Because uh, I'm gonna get too far ahead of what you guys have seen. So let's, uh, let's talk to, God, let's get our Tatujan shoes going. Let's talk to these ladies and see who we're supposed to be doing this quest with. What do you want? You're very pretty. You're very sexy. You're very ugly. You're very pretty. Huh? Are you one of those model scouts or something? Not interested. Get a real job, loser. What? Did I say the wrong words? Oh, I guess it was sexy. You're very sexy. Dots. Where's my money? Oh, right. I have to give her a thousand yen. Pear. Here you go. Gave away a thousand yen. Now it's going to turn out she's a hooker. Okay, thank you. Then here you go. See the suspicious paper bag. Hard to imagine a guy could get any girl they wanted buying th this, though. What a world we live in. Hard to believe a guy could buy any could get anyone who wanted buying this, though. What a world we live in. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't play dumb. It's fine, really. After all, sick perverts like you are giving me money to get enough money to get by. Sick perverts. I bet nothing by it. You're living honestly with your desires, at least. And, you know, if you need more, I'll be around. It's a good deal for both of us. What's she, like, giving her poop or something? It doesn't have to be. It didn't have to go straight to poop. It could be anything that, like, her sweaty underpants. What's that about? I'm not a pervert. Is there something strange in this bag? I tell you what. We'll look inside. Like, uh, I wanted to just con to conduct this the correct way, but I am curious how it could go. No, I promise that. Look, I can't go back on that. I kind of want to. We've got to save now. I kind of want to see the different ways this could uh, terminate. But I also want to check with. Since semi amusing things happened, I want to check the other ways this could end. Hey, I got what you asked for from the woman. Oh, thanks. Here you go. Gave a suspicious paper bag. <laughs> hey, it looks like you didn't peek inside. Yeah, promise to promise. But when I got it from that woman, she called me a sick pervert. Why is that now? Huh? Oh, I wonder why. My man, I wish I knew, but, but, uh... Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is for the trouble. Don't tell anyone about this. Not a soul. You got 80,000 yen. Okay, see ya! Ah! I guess we do get to find out what's inside. Hey, are you okay? Bust a wolf. Avert your eyes. Okay, so it's underwear. Yeah, at least I know why she called me a pervert. So if you do the honorable thing and uh, and are as good as your word with your in your dealings with this pervert, you will be rewarded with the knowledge of what's going on ultimately. So that's important. Go back, uh, wit slot three, wit slot four. So, so slot nine, we're going to save on slot four so we don't have to do it again because that's the canon ending now for this quest. But I am curious enough to play with uh, some of the other outcomes, even though I probably shouldn't be wasting the time. Because I think the other, most, for the most part, these other outcomes are ones where, other than looking in, uh, 
other than getting the package and then looking inside, I think we could just say the wrong thing, or say things to the wrong girl, blah, blah, blah. We won't actually terminate the quest and have to load. We can just keep pushing in all these wrong directions. Because I am, I'm sufficiently curious. It won't take too long. So first of all, you are apparently ugly. Hey, you. Yes, can I help you? You're very sexual. <laughs> You're very sexual. Oh my god, gross. Leave before I call the police. What? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Did I say the wrong words? You're very sexy. You're very sexy. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend, so I can't go out with you or anything like that. What? No, that's not what I meant. Here, I have to give you this, alright? You flashed 10,000 yen. What? I'm not that kind of girl. And only a thousand? Even if I was on the market, I'd never go for that cheap. Well, that's not what I meant. That's weird. I thought I said the correct words. Maybe I got the wrong one. Okay, so it's... it's They're pretty quick and uninvolved. Uh, what can I do for you, stud? It's not really my type, but I still have to say... Never mind. I guess we've been through everything with her. Get in line, tiger. This is what you need, right? Okay, we already saw this. What? <laughs> Heck, don't stay, stay there. Okay. So, so there was one that was kind of like, just generically, she's the wrong person. Then there's one where they did some comedy. And we'd, in fact, seen more of the uh, higher proportion of the outcomes than I even realized. All we've got to do with her is say, you're butt ugly, and then, or you're very ugly, and then look at the box. Look in the bag. You're butt ugly. Huh? And what a dick! Gah. Damn it, I must have got the words wrong. Yeah, okay, so there wasn't... There's not a whole lot to this. That we missed. We'd seen almost everything. I guess I'm glad we're going through the trouble now of confirming, because I... Otherwise I wouldn't know... Oh, don't pay. I could do that. This is too fishy. I'm not yeah. paying. I can't pay you. Then what are you doing? My goods aren't free, man. Okay, so there's really, there's not a whole lot, again, I, talking in circles here, I'm glad we're confirming that, because I, I don't have to wonder how many other hilarious variations would there have been. Okay. But that guy could get any girl he wanted, apparently. We're learning that. But it's, it's only costing a thou- we'll look inside now. It could even be dangerous. I have to look for my own safety just in case. Let's see. Men. These are women's panties. So that's what he, she meant by sick pervert. That guy was too embarrassed about this for himself, so he sent me instead. And apparently he'll know, even though we didn't touch the bag. Hey, it's the ugly lady. She's fled the area. There you go, you asked for Oh, thanks, here you go. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute, this bag has been opened already. You peeked at what's inside, didn't you? Oh, well, yeah, you know, then in that case, you have no choice. I'll give you 50,000 yen, please don't tell anyone about it. Here, just take it. See, please don't tell anyone. I wouldn't have told anyone about used panties either. Oh, God. Now, where where I am that doesn't make sense with this is that he paid us 80,000 yen to pick this up. But the woman who provided the panties still only gets 1,000 yen, which is like 10 bucks. So, there's something wrong here. The actual underwear itself... It's probably worth more than ten. Like you know, I, I I know because of an incident where I was in a you know uh, living arrangements with uh, you know multiple men and women in the same place, and I I thought I was doing a, someone a favor by just moving their 
their bras over to the dryer and found out, oh, you can't, not only can you not run um, some of those things in the dryer, the, the particular ones she had, but also they're fucking expensive. Um, so yeah, like I, I have a feeling that the, the actual underwear was worth more than uh, 10 bucks, considering it was a whole pile of ones with different sexy patterns and shit. Um, so like, no matter what we got paid and we, we get paid more if we don't look and the, the game still engineers a zany way for us to figure out what app, what it was. But I don't understand, like the woman's getting the same amount either way. And it's not enough to cover. Like why this business is a huge money-making profit venture, but only for the random guy on the street who's accosted and asked to buy them. <laughs> the actual, like, you know, partners in the business deal up front don't seem to have figured out a way to, that makes sense. All right, so we're going to get Essence of Crushing Wall, just because, again, I figure we'll eventually get everything, so I might as well just... I'll just get all the Tier 1 before I get any Tier 2, get all the Tier 2 before I get any Tier 3, etc., etc. So I've got a couple more 10-point skills over this way. And then I think I've officially hit the point where... Yeah... When we get uh, 16 more uh, XP, we will finish out all of the... This tier 1, 3 points is tier 2, 10 points is tier 3. We'll have all the, te we'll have all the tier 3 uh, soul skills. And I feel like we probably already have all of the tier 3. Yeah. And then body. Again, we've already got all the tier 3 body skill. Nope, nope. Steel gut. But I've even picked up some tier 4 body skills just because... Well, well one tier 4 body skill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we're back to just free roam mode now. Something's going on in the batting center. And I... Uh, and Asia, and I think I know what's going on at Asia, and I'm kind of annoyed because, well, when we go over there and do that, I will, I will explain why I can't set a marker, or can I set a marker? No, I'll explain why, uh, before unlocking this little side quest thing, I kind of wish I had already interacted with this business before it became a side quest destination. I've kind of lost an opportunity in a sense. Let's dash across the city. Listening for the telltale sound of Kitty Chan. Well, we did hear the telltale sound of Kiryu chan. Somewhere around here is a guy looking for Kiryu chan. Whoa! Oh man, these guys again? It is always the same place. I shouldn't be surprised. Sorry, just um, wetting my whistle before going into the voice acting. Whoa! Wow, 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 wow. I would be fine if every time they run into us, then they, then they recognize that it's us and like, oh, never mind. And they're still doing this. Uh, they're still doing this scheme, but they uh, are trying to do it on other people. Uh. Huh? That bastard. Uh? Whoa, bastard. Huh? You bastard. Huh? Goddamn bastard. <laughs> He's a fan of the band. Or perhaps sports team Death Horn. <laughs> Watch where you're going. The oh, rug. My head hurts. Oh god, this is the end for me. Hey, are you okay? You guys are noisier than usual today. I object on behalf of the patrons of this business, which is called Power. <laughs> 
Oh man, it's no use. His pupils are totally dilated. Hey man, you. What are you gonna do about these dilated pupils, huh? Pouring over a million yen right now, asshole. You know what happens if you don't pay up, right? Ha ha ha! I know you're a tough guy, but you don't really think you can take this many guys, do you? Well, my man, what now? Don't pay. I was, gonna, I was hoping there'd be more, so I, guess, I was just gonna go through all sorts of random voices. I'm gonna bust out the, you know, the Sun Tzu voice, maybe Nobunaga. There's no way I can pay that. Come on, man. You really wanna die, eh? Sounds like we don't gotta hold back then! You're dead! Alright, so I should... Okay, I'm already in Thug, that's good. Or Beast Mode, that's the quickest one to end any of these fights in. And indeed, they all still have... Low... Oh no, never mind, somebody got out of it alive. That's what I think of Death Horn. I think this might be the end of this uh, little repeat. Of, What's wrong? You were all so excited. Now you're dead silent. I can't believe this guy. His strength is unreal. Let me think it was uh, He's so scary. Oh, we promise we'll stop doing this. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive us? You got colorful parasol. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you got foppish bumper shoots. So, we'll be leaving now. Ha ha ha! Dots. Seems like they finally learned their lesson. I hope that was the last time they pulled one of these moronic schemes. Yeah, I mean, on you. Like, I hope they, they pay attention to whether or not it's you or some other person they might be able to intimidate next time. Kiryu chan I need you, Kiryu chan That of all the disturbing shit in this game, I think that's the most disturbing. The Kiryu chan voice of the Majima sensor. Alright. So from here on everything is either fifty or eighty-five. So I would think uh, we'll be slowing down a bit here. Climax heat gauge plus three. Increases climax heat gauge. Allows for actions required to be in... Okay. I'm just kind of curious what the ultimate skills are for each. This is time for destruction. It'll only be activated during climax heat mode. Exhaust all your heat to increase your damage dealt at all sides for a set period of time. Interesting, but stupid. And then now that one's really set up. It's like it's got a bunch of 85, 85, 85. So the very highest possible gauge and the ability to just drain your gauge for extra attack power is, are basically the two ultimates of this approach. So the ultimate for this is. Lightning Fist. Launch a counterattack when an enemy comes at you. This attack sends a shock through their body as if they were struck by lightning. Interesting. Don't know whether I'll be using that. That sounds like something where I, I wouldn't... I would never be clear on whether I was getting the timing right. But that's very much... Okay, that's set up as the ultimate of this. There's all sorts of things where there's an 85 at the end of a row. But that's the only one where you've got a whole string of 85, 85, 85, 85. Stick mastery is close. But then here, it's pretty pretty obvious. This is boost attack 6, the highest possible boost attack. It is almost as long a path to get to as Iron Gut. Prevent all damage when performing a resist guard in heat mode. 
which is at the end of a bunch of boost health stuff. Whereas the ultimate damage boost is at the end of Herculean Fortitude, Diamond Oh, they're actually actual. Yeah, this is just a thing. If if you're if you've got nothing left to spend points on, but more hit points, more hit points, more hit points, more hit points, more hit points. Eventually, you get to. Oh, and here you can just don't, don't take damage at all. What the fuck? I mean, fine. You've gotten like eight hundred hit point max ups. Just go ahead and don't even use take damage anymore. But I guess you really want to be working your way. Uh, from here you can go in branching path. This is taking you explosive body mastery. Oh no, never mind. The, the long term path is this way. So eventually you'll get to here, and you'll change your. You'll have to decide if you want to start heading uh, left or right, and this will get you to more health recovery from eating food, whatever. Explosive attack, executed bear claw stance. That's pretty cool. I mean, like, it's pretty cool to have, like, an extra bonus attack of, like, uh, beast mode at the end. Whatever. Okay. So somewhere around here... Now that I now I feel compelled to find him. Well, but we've got a we've got one of the nouveau riche. You might as well beat him up. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I realized I was still in brawler mode. Should have gone to beast mode to do a different finisher, but... Like, if you get right in his freaking face, I guess, he will show up on the map. It took quite a while to find them before. I either need to get better at using this or I need to stop worrying about it unless I'm specifically hunting for Majima. But I'm kind of hunting for Majima. Like, this would be... This is where sometimes I want... Uh, no! <laughs> oh. Dot, dot, dot. Well, hello there! Hmm? Oh, it's you guys. You're still not still scamming people with that whole pumping thing anymore, right? No siree, we're totally reformed, for real. These days, we're into power walking. Power walking? That's right, walking has some pretty great health benefits. Hey man, you wanna walk with us for a bit? We'd love to have you along. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Feels great to be out and about, stretching your legs! Feels like I beat the crap out of these guys like an hour ago, and now they want me to walk with them? Should I? Sure, let's walk. Maybe you can help me jump Majima. <laughs> You know what? Okay, I'll walk with you guys. <laughs> All right, the tough guy's gonna walk with us. Dots. I feel like this is a trap. I don't see how that's power walking, though. Look. So where are we walking to? You'll find out soon. Yeah. Into the Sally Jackass. Ugh. That's what I was thinking. Oh, really? Not exactly the friendliest of places. Do you guys really go to the trouble planning this all out? What would Deathhorn think? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have tried to muscle your way into our turf, asshole. This time you're dead. Every time we run into your ass, you beat the shit out of us! I actually just got out of the hospital, you bastard! It's been like 30 minutes, like less than 30 minutes. I can't believe it. You guys haven't learned anything. Shut the hell up! You broke our bones, and then you broke our pride! Revenge is all we've got left! So revenge is what we're gonna- No, I can't give him that voice, he's a male. Revenge is what we're gonna get, and we'll take our money back while we're at it! Okay. I thought these guys were our buddies now, we're gonna teach us about power walking, but...
Oh, my seated dropkick didn't work. So anyway, I think I won that fight. And we were getting, like, almost no experience for this, too, which seems fair. No way. We planned it out on everything, but he's just too strong. So this was the best you could do. If you still haven't learned your lesson, I can make sure you guys never walk again. How's that sound? No need. We'll walk right on out of the city. Promise. Come on, guys. Apologize to the gentleman. We're sorry. Well, this was called epilogue, at least. Dots. So unless we unless we run into them again and it's called sequel. <laughs> Here I was thinking those obnoxious thugs might have turned around. Hope they're done with these stupid stunts. That walking was kind of nice, though. Maybe I should take the long way around every once in a while. We're walking all over the place in this game. Kill you, Chad. All right, we can upgrade abilities, and uh, this should be it. We shouldn't get the, yeah, we're not going to get the you can upgrade abilities message anymore until we get 50 experience. So it could be a little farther north, like we keep triggering it kind of in this general area. All right, I don't like that's this guy's mugging somebody, and I think I've done enough of those that I don't get anything for breaking them up, other than like, you know, bronze plates or whatever. And we got to spend our precious time hunting for Majima. Okay. No, those are those are non Majima thugs, damn it. That is that really is the fastest way to clear these when uh Well who's Oh, you're Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I didn't know that you were part of this gang. Well, you were wise to start so far away from the rest. <laughs> Put you out of range of uh, beast mode uh, super swing. I think he might be over here somewhere. That's a gang of thugs, though. Like a cluster of all male NPCs with those outfits. That's probably guys who get hostile towards me. So, I'm investigating in the direction I think it's most likely Majima's in, but... Oh, Majima! Hunting for you now. Okay, we got another coin locker. Rather a coin key. A coin locker key. Yeah. I'm stuck on a corner. I'm having a real hard time, uh... Like, it's always this intersection where I, I get the notification. Should I be looking for hiding places? Instead of just looking for the guy? Ah, and... and then these other hostiles show up and they're just gonna waste time. Alright, Majima, where could you be hiding?
Don't. Don't know. Majima. Oh, Majima. See, NPCs can climb up there, but it's decorative for me. He was kind of floating around here the last time the Majima sensor found him, which is one reason I was thinking he probably wouldn't be, like, right here. But maybe he just has regular spawn locations. And occasionally you just get the same one twice in a row. Meanwhile, I'm really glad I'm wearing my Tatujan socks because it can, I can convince myself there's some minor benefit from all this walking around in circles we're doing while failing to find Kojima. Majima. Goro. Always this, uh, it's always this intersection. I mean, could he literally be in the batting center? Could it be telling us to go to the batting center? I know that you can you can play mini games against Majima. In fact, the bowling game, I was warned, he's really good at that one. Um, I don't know. I guess the thing to do is call it a video. We'll go into the batting center and see what's going on. And whether that uh, brings to an end the current spate of Kiryu Chats. See you next time.